Hey Sagittarius, this is Alex and I'm here to bring you your weekly tarot reading. I hope you guys are doing amazing. Let us see what the universe has for you. Sagittarius. Ooh, Eight of Pentacles. Yes. Leo, the strength card. Uh-oh. I got Eight of Pentacles, Eight of Cups, Two Eight, Nine of Pentacles, The Moon, and Two of Wands. You're at a crossroads. I feel like a lot of you guys are working on your trust for someone. Um, I also kind of feel like a lot of you guys, yeah, you're trying to endure, right? You're trying to you know, maybe give somebody the benefit of the doubt, make good on your word, make good on your a promise. And, um, stick around before walking away from something. Oh, well, that's, that's what it is. You got the moon card twice. Oh. So this is meditation, right? Contemplation. Trying to figure out the best path, path forward. Whether or not I want to stick around or if I want to move on. This is something you've been thinking about for a while. I'm also getting for a lot of you guys, you are trying to get over um, something that just didn't feel right. It just didn't, um, it just didn't uh, feel right to you. Like something in your core, something in your intuition kind of really didn't feel right. And something that you guys had to kind of think about and kind of get over with the 10 of swords. And then also the nine of pentacles. I'm just going to say this to you, Saj. I feel like this person, whomever you're dealing with or whatever this situation is, they haven't really done anything yet, right? But you are on guard like they did. I also kind of feel with this Ten of Swords, you know, this with the Nine of Pentacles, to me it's almost like whatever it is that you're telling yourself, it's beating you down and breaking you down. But the Nine of Pentacles represents to me the 3D, the reality of your situation. I kind of feel like for a lot of you guys, maybe somebody came back in your life and this person vowed not to hurt you again. They vowed not to lie. They vowed not to cheat. And so far they've been keeping up, keeping their word. And that shit is making you nervous as hell, Sag. Because it's like, wait a minute, where is it? where's where's the shoe the other the shoe is about to drop I'm also feeling here too with the eight of pentacles and the queen of pentacles oh yeah a lot of you guys are working towards working hard towards achieving um mm -mm. I, I tried to angels was like no they ain't they're observing the crap out of their person they're applying so much observation and detail to make sure that this person is living up to what they said they would do. So if somebody promised you something, um, Sagittarius, boy, you are watching this person like a hawk. Not only that, but I feel like this, it's almost like the more that they do, to convince you that they're going to fix their problem, the more that makes you nervous. Because for a lot of you guys, again, you're waiting for the other shoe to drop. And for you, Sagittarius, it's not a shoe. It's like a Timbaland or a combat boot. You're waiting for like Godzilla or Bigfoot shoe to drop. But also at the same time, I do kind of feel instinctually right? And primal from a primal standpoint, you are being forced to trust this person's word. You're trying your hardest to keep your distance, especially emotionally, 
to push back, to stay at a distance, to not give this person your heart, to not commit, commit to this person. Realistically, all of this looks like your person is on probation. Realistically. The nine of pentacles here kind of says to me, I'm not going to believe it until I see it. I'm not going to believe it until all 10 of these swords are out of my back. I'm not going to believe it until I see you with all of these uh, 10 swords and you ain't aiming them at my back. So it's, it's like you want to, you gave this person your word right? That you would take them back or you would, you would try again with them, so on and so forth. But you've been watching and observing them like a hawk. And to an extent, because you've not seen anything that would justify you walking away because your fears right now are making you nervous and making you scared about the outcome of this situation to the point where you want to walk away, Sagittarius. But you know that they've not hurt you. You know that they've not done anything wrong, right? It's almost like you have absolutely no proof, which is why to an extent you're kind of quote unquote deadlocked on what to do about this situation. So what additional messages? You got Capricorn, Leo, Cancer, Gemini and um cancer here and then virgo there oh that just popped out communicate clearly that just kind of says to me let your person know how you're feeling that you're nervous you're a little moody you're in a funk you you um feel super 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 sensitive hypersensitive or hyper nervous or um just a little wary is what i'm hearing You're afraid of trusting this person, in all honesty, Sag. You don't want to have to choose them as a lover because you're nervous about that. It's like you want to believe that they're not going to stab you in the back, but your history has taught you everybody stabs you in the back. So I really do feel like there's a healing opportunity for you to clear out some old wounds. There's always a freaking healing opportunity. Yeah, you're ready. Communicate clearly and you're ready. This situation will improve. No, you don't have to run away or walk away from this, Sag. I think you just need to kind of air out your nervousness, some of your concerns with your person. Um, and I also kind of feel like your person is going to work with you, by the way. I do. Uh, personal issue reaches resolution. Woohoo. The situation will improve. Yeah, you have to just communicate. Boy, you got the double communication card. So you have. The situation will improve. And a personal issue reaches resolution. You have communicate clearly. And communicate clearly and communication is key. You have your ready time to give rather than take. And last card at the bottom, be bold and make the first move because you're ready. So Sagittarius, that kind of says to me that whatever it is you've been observing up until this point, you know everything you need to know. You know everything, what this person is going to do, what they're not going to do. So with that, you just need to think, marinate on it. Make sure you don't make that decision out of fear or emotion that you make that decision based on mind and logic. All right, my lovely Sagittarius, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. If the reading does resonate, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I love you, Sag. Bye.